Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.com. If this is your first video from YouTube or any other place, this is a course that I'm teaching on jobskillshare.com. It's a free cor free course. Uh, it's called Help the Support Specialist course. And today I'm going to be making a video for my members and anybody who is basically watching this. Uh, it's the video is about my tools for troubleshooting. So in this section, um, I'm going to be using a lot of different tools to to solve a lot of different problems that helped us IT support, desktop support, IT, any IT person um, do for troubleshooting. Now I'm not saying these are the only tools that should be used for this kind of troubleshooting. These are only my tools and that's why I named it my tools. So if you know any better tools than these, please do share it. It helps a lot. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the course right now and I'm going to click on go to course which is help the support specialist I'm going to go over there and I will put this lecture or this video in learning path and then I click on help the support specialist and then this is this is going to be located on the left side if you click on see that my tools troubleshooting and when you click on this basically you're going to see all the video all the videos with different tools and it will basically explain um, what kind of problems can be solved by these tools so I am going to be using two computers here uh, one will be a uh, Windows 7 computer and the other one will be uh, Windows uh, Server 2008 so the first tool that I'm going to be basically I'm going to be talking about today is um, it's a small tool that I use basically for small troubleshooting like if I want to restart a Windows machine or stuff like that and um, well let's go ahead and start downloading that tool and then I'm going to be explaining it a little bit more so the first thing you need to do if you want to install this tool go to Internet Explorer and open your IE And the reason I'm not explaining in the beginning that oh what is this tool about and all that because it, it wouldn't make any sense because I want to basically install the tool and then I want to talk about what I can do with it. So that's why I'm going to be doing it one by one and this video can end in many sections so it's, it's going to be a part one then part two we'll talk about different tool part three we'll talk about different tool and that's going to go that way and I will basically uh, explain it where uh, in the te in the text tab right here, so it's going to be like two one soft scanner, soft network scanner, and then it, there's going to be video, and there's going to be tool two spice works and video, tool three, and then two four, two five, tool six, and it's going to go all the way, and it will say on the right side that what it can do and some kind of problems that it can be solved. So now these are only my way of like you know my you can do a lot of other things with it but these are just like some things that I can come up with quickly to kind of give you an idea of what you can do once you get the idea of tools like different tools that you can use then then you basically know how to search online on your own you you become like this is why IT people think this is when you're gonna be when I'm gonna say okay now you have that IT thinking you know you have that IT mind that once you get to this point you can on, you can search on your own you don't have to use the same tool to to fix the same problem you can use your own then so that will be basically the goal to make you guys ready and understand what, what, what I'm trying to do in this video basically so I'm gonna go back to the video right here so the first tool that I'm trying to install is is called soft network scanner just type that into Google click enter and then first link you see soft perfect network scanner it's free and it can do a lot of other things so it will tell you on the top right here soft network scanner is a free multi-thread IP net BIOS and SNMP scanner and basically what it can do we can ping computers you can scan you can do TCP you can look into the shared drives you can do restart whack on lane and stuff like that a lot of other things you can do so here's a full list what you can do key features are these right here but we're gonna use it for our own purpose and I do not uh, take any responsibility for if somebody's using it in a wrong way please do not use this 
in the wrong manners. This is something um, job ethics and stuff related stuff. So you don't, you really want to make sure that you're using this one for training purposes or any work related purpose. Don't use it for anything else. So I'm going to open this and then do extract all files. Extract and now I ex extract it you click on this net scan and it's portable so you can take it anywhere you want to in a USB or you can put it on a secure share or something like that so you click on that alright so you click run I'll just say yes alright so you see uh, you have a uh, option right here let me do this way so you guys can see it better. Um, you have an option to pick your IP addresses and stuff like that. Um, you can also go to actions, um, options and IP address and then click detect local IP range. So if you click on that you will know what IP address. So I think this is the right IP address for this machine and the other machine that is c configured. So this will scan all the network between anything between anything from 172.18.0.0 and then it will go to all the way to 172.18.252.0.0 uh, so it will scan anything in that range uh, if you have other ranges you can also pick that and you, all you have to do is to pl click plus here and it will add more range in there just like spice work we were doing so for now just to save time and um, to show you guys exactly what I'm doing right now I'm going to go to IE Windows 9 and, and find the IP address of this machine and exactly put that IP address into that so I'm gonna go here IP config and I'll see the IP address of this machine is 10.189 I'm gonna go back to server and I'll put my 172.18.10 dot one eighty nine and then I'm gonna put go back here one seventy two dot eighteen dot ten dot one eighty nine I just wanna make sure go back here ten dot one eighty nine and then I go back to my server and then I just say click scan so what's gonna happen is start scanning ten dot one eighty nine see that it picked that host automatically it tells me that that's the host name I can find more information here I can add more stuff in there so if I go to my actions actually here set a filter let me see if that works uh, no so what you do is basically if you have any share on that machine it will pick it up right here and you can go to that machine you can right click on it and open a computer here and then what you can do is if you want to basically manage that computer you can click on computer management and what's gonna happen computer will open up computer management which you can also do this from a computer itself but I'm just showing you guys that these are one options that you can do um, see it's connected to that computer right now so now I can do some stuff with that computer I can go and add a user in there into that computer and just to test it out I'm say user D Heather actually let's make something else job skill share user added I'll put a password in there now these are some things that I'm trying to doing so then you guys can maybe relate to your work and kinda like you know maybe do it if you guys need to do one day like you know you want to remotely add a user to that machine uh, you can do it this way or do it from the computer it doesn't matter but just showing you that you got options now so I just added job skill share to Windows 7 machine now let's see if it worked go back to Windows 7 I'm gonna go there right click on it where you see the users manage on it click on manage go to users 
and then you click here and you see job skills share is added over there uh, through that so that one thing that we just did from that software okay now go back to here what else can I do with that software first I did a scan I found the MAC address if somebody asks you can you find the MAC address of that IP address oh, I'm giving you the IP address can you find the MAC address you can uh, easily find it just plug in the IP do a scan and it will give you that MAC address name you can also find it through that other thing you can do is basically you can copy IP addresses MAC address host name and scan a whole computer uh, you can also wake computer online so you got two options uh, you can do wake it up from this way or you can use the manager so this is a good option if your computer is sleeping and your network card is on you can if your computer is shut down you can turn it on by doing this way I used to do this when when I was um, managing 150 computers so we would have uh, weekly or two months sorry two week I would um, kinda like push some updates and stuff like that I will do that at night time so uh, like weekend or Friday night and com some computers will be turned off but then I had a option on for all the network cards to be on so every time I would go home and it was like 8 o'clock I will just send this uh, I, I will have I, I had all the computers added to my manager and then I will just send one click and all the computers will be turned on I will do my updates and then that's it I'm done I don't need to go to the computer anymore uh, what else you can do you can send a message uh, let's see if it works hello type hello let's see the message didn't work so it needs to be something needs to be configured okay now some of the options might work some not because you're connecting from through a network so this is not like a client based thing so that's another thing properties you can check the properties and doing giving you the same options uh, okay so these are some things you can do with this uh, with this thing and, and on the top you basically see the same information um, here remote group website you can also use this option let's see if this works I'm not sure about that serial number and all that you can click on that you can also put a new account in there if your account is not working you can also put a new account in there go to program options and basically you can detect more stuff in here additional stuff uh, workstation look up for windows version let's see user online you click on all these stuff right here uh, and you can pick your username right now he's using a domain admin so I'm good but you can specify another username you can also click on share determine this space uh, enable this right here folders you can also do that um, folders and printers let's pick that applications you can do that also click OK then start scanning again and see that you added more information now logged in or lo logged on user is administrator uh, OS 2008 7 basically that's a running on a virtual machine so that's why it's giving you that and it gives you more information right here so that these are the things you can do other thing you can do on this machine is you can right click on it and you can shut down this machine right now um, and to, you can create a batch file from it or if you want to do shut down remote machines you can do that let's do that let's say you want to reboot a computer after something is hung you can you can go to the computer right now uh, you're not in a position or maybe you're like in a different state or something but you but you have access to through this what you can do is reboot force close applications and then send a message through this way a uh, computer will be shut down in a minute and then you say okay and let's go back here and you say that you see computer will be shut down in a minute and basically what's gonna happen is I'm going to close it but I know it's gonna close it itself and in a minute or a few seconds you'll see the computer is gonna start shutting down right now 
it takes about a second to basically kind of wait for any user to save anything that and then it will just basically push that command to that computer so you see that it's shutting down and that was it so in this video it was a pretty small basic video but I should kind of show you guys that these are this is a tool and you guys can use your own tool but these are the tools that you can use for different stuff um, in next video I am going to be using another tool to basically do some other stuff and that's how I'm going to keep this uh, uh, section going for a long time this is going to take a lot I mean it might not be even never ending thing for this section because I'm going to be using all the tools that I can find on internet and then I can solve my help desk or IT support problems through it so you guys can watch the tools and make your own um, like you know start solving your own problems and maybe I might t I might be talking and you might be think oh I can do that with I can solve my problems with this stuff the way he's doing it so I'm gonna do the other problem with that so this is the the main reason why I'm sharing these tools so you guys can get your own ideas and probably use another tools or start fixing your problems through this okay thank you for watching I'm going to be making another two videos so see you then bye bye